Um, well, this is a sort of coming out story because I've um, I felt left out a lot of the time. Um, I I know from my personal interactions with AJ that he loves me, but um, it's really difficult to translate some of the stories that you tell so that they make sense for me. Um, uh, because of the whole left out thing, um, I, I seem to do that with my sex life as well. Um, Ian's nodding, I can, I can talk about it. Um, like, I now have a partner of over 25 years who, um, because of his cancer, is impotent, so I miss out on a sex... The whole thing has come to this sex life where I don't have one, and it's, again, it's that repeat of being left out. Yep. Yep. Um, and there's a lot of sadness and there's a lot of anger. And I worked through a fair bit of it, but... Yeah, I... I don't know where that resentment comes from. I I can't quite get to where that niggledy, niggledy, niggledy thing with him a lot of the time and with the world in general yeah. comes from. Now, you you are quite mediumistic, right? So, so have, have you ever discussed these issues with some of your spirit friends to work out what's going on? Yeah, well, um, <laughs> after the last time about the sex thing I did, I talked um, with, I think it was John, and was John. He's referring to um, the Apostle John, who's passed, and, and the Apostle John was a gay man. Uh, his soul is a, is a male-male split, so he's a, he's a gay, he, he was a gay man on earth, and he experienced these experiences for in John's case, for 30, I think it was 33 years, he didn't have sex. So up until he was 33 years old, he didn't have sex because there were some religious beliefs he had. But on top of that, um, because he was a gay man with these religious beliefs, he felt that being gay was, was wrong. You know, there was this religious belief that it was wrong. And then he had a period of time, a period of his life for six or seven years, where he, he started to allow himself to be what he was sexually, a gay, just a gay man. And, and so John had a lot of feelings too, of feeling miss, like he missed out on, like when you think about it, up until you're 33, there's a lot of your sexual life you're missing out, aren't you, in that time. So John had a lot of those kind of emotions. So certainly, you feel quite attracted to talk to you about it. So what did John say about it? Um, well, I was, I, I got down to a whole pile of grief and it seemed like I had nowhere else to go. Yeah. So I sought God's presence, asked for divine love, and that was when he got really clear. I, I felt really clear my connection with John. Yeah. And um, as soon as I brought God into this, to my feeling, as soon as I could feel God, um, it seemed that a whole pile of um, the other spirits that were around, some of them got really pissed off with me yeah. because I'd sorted it out. Yeah. But a whole pile of them um, felt really relieved and I could, I could feel their relief. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, I mean, I've been a pioneer gay activist for a long time and it, it just felt like here I am, here I go again. Yeah. Um, connecting with um, the love of um, <coughs> four gay souls that God has and having to go out and tell everybody that's what it was about and being scared shitless action. <laughs> Brian, you, I reckon you're doing well. The, the truth is the emotion underneath is this really, really deep emotion of grief. And, and you'll need to do more crying about it than you've done. And allow yourself to connect to that emotion of grief, of feeling missed out, feeling like you know, you've been treated differently all, pretty much all your life. Some of it you've sought in anger yeah. because you, you know some of your activism has been driven by this underlying feeling of I'm missing out and I need to change this. And what you need to do is allow yourself to connect to your emotion of missing out. And do you mind me and me speaking about your emotion yeah. regarding the impotence? Yeah. yeah. So so with regard to the impotence, that again is a 
impotence is related, and by this, this applies to heterosexual or gay couples, it's immaterial. Impotence is related to a feeling of anger towards that gender. So, so in your case, Ian, it will be a feeling of anger towards men. It will be related to, in particular related to, uh, how you either feel about yourself or how your father felt about you. And then, of course, the responding action in return that you felt towards him. Does that make sense? Yeah. And yeah, if I relate deeply to all of what I said about the... Yeah, yeah. So, so the key thing for, you, for both of you to do is to start like experimenting with the sexual relationship in a way that's going to allow yourself to trigger these emotions. So the emotion that you're going to feel is this terrible emotion, I'm just not going to ever get what I want here. Right? So allow yourself to really tune into that emotion and experience that emotion. Because that's, that's preventing you from, um, from moving forward and having a different law of attraction. For yourself, Anne, it's, a, it's a, a different emotion of feeling a rage towards how you've been treated by men in particular. And, and because for you there's been this change in you of uh, recognising that you're gay after living in a heterosexual relationship, there is this feeling of, of all of the men in the past that have turned all that off in you. Do you know what I mean? There's, that, there's this anger towards the heterosexual male, if you like. Uh, yes. do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I, uh, I, uh, I'm afraid of all of men. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really aware of that. Yeah, and... Yeah, and it, I, I just feel, feel the violence. That, that these heterosexual males have, have, are violent, generally, yeah. particularly towards any... If they're homophobic, they're definitely towards a male. Yeah. And, and so there's this strong, also there's this strong connection you have with your mother, which which causes you to side on the side of the feminine. Yeah. So whenever there is a um, some kind of disagreement or argument between the male and the female, and this would have occurred when you were a child, you would have always sided with your mother. Yeah, Does that make sense? Yeah. And, and actually felt a lot of anger and resentment towards your father. And it's that emotion that needs to be healed to allow you to have a complete sex life now. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yourself? You feel the anger towards your father. Yeah, for, allow yourself to tune into your anger with your father yeah. and really get into it. Again, baseball bat bag or something, you know, something yeah. that allows you to physically express this yeah, anger. I'll give you a fair bit already. Well, awesome, awesome. <laughs> that's good. And then, then drop down into the grief that you feel about that situation. Like, what? So your father was teaching you about you. So in the end, the anger, the anger you feel towards your father, because you're a male, you're now even angry with yourself yeah. for being a male. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And so the key is then to, to tune into that emotional and allow yourself to feel that emotion and then step in the, underneath this grief, into this grief that you feel about being male. Because you feel a deep and terrible responsibility towards women, although you're a gay man. Yeah. And you feel this terrible, deep responsibility that you've done something to damage women. And, and, and men do things to damage women. And so you don't even like yourself being a man. Uh, there was, was a time when I, I was prepared to be a woman growing up. And, and my mother, mother had stuff too. She, uh, she lost three brothers. They died. My father died when she was only 17. Yep. And I, I think when she discovered she had a male fetus, she wasn't very happy. I think she yeah. much preferred to have a female one. Yes. And I picked up on that. So I am aware of that. Yes. That, taking that on. And, and a lot of, a lot of uh, homosexual male souls are attracted to women with male anger issues. Right? And like John's mother is, is, was the same. She was almost, I can feel your mother and I can feel John's mother, and there's very, very similar emotions that they have towards men. Um, and you took on those uh, emotions uh, about men, and then you focused them inwards towards yourself. So the, the key is to connect to a lot of that and allow itself to release that. Once that occurs, that will sort out some issues for yourself sexually. And then if you can, during that time, because that's going to take a little time to do, obviously, if you can allow yourself to feel this terrible feeling that you feel, 
that you're not ever going to be satisfied sexually. That no matter what you do, you know, there's just going to be, you're just going to feel unfulfilled. And, and allow yourself to really tune into that emotion and release that emotion. You'll find, once you get through that, you'll feel totally different. The, the other thing that, I would, that, that there's an issue that what your question has brought up unknowingly to you that I'd like to discuss with everyone about love. So we'll do that in a, in a second. But does that help, help anyone? Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.